Okay. Order. Okay. My name is Venkash. I have a four plus years of uh, experience in uh, SAP Pico consultant as a. Uh, previously, I have worked in uh, Wipro. And my roles and responsibilities are uh, presently I'm uh, I'm in uh, supporting a project. My roles are, my roles and responsibilities are uh, uh, facing the P1, P2, P3 tickets uh, and uh, and uh, solving the errors uh, and user errors and uh, updating project records and internal and external shared stakeholder managements and uh, scheduling the meetings and settings agendas and for the project teams also and the quality assurances and uh, for example uh, through collating data and uh, auditing or uh, compiles uh, compiles our checks also so these are about a uh, few about me and uh, coming to that part topic uh, today i'm going to explain explaining about uh, validation and the substitution part so so before we go into the uh, configure uh, uh, i want to tell you about uh, validation and substitution it's validation about substitution is means just is a company requirement. It's a business requirement actually. Uh, for suppose one client have a uh, different uh, company course, uh, number of company course, but he want to requirement uh, some changes for only only one one company code. So so we have to configure that as a configure and change that uh, uh, business as require uh, business client requirement. So we have to follow that. So we go to the so I'm going to the my SAP screen to configure that. So we can see here the business requirement is uh, as per the company requirement and the validation substitution part. So we have a in we can we can configure in uh, a data text department and uh, line item de department also or in in line item also in line item department also. So we will uh, we'll discuss about the two, uh, two or in two also. But uh, in the validation part, we will configure in line item further, find line item. And in the substitution part, we will uh, configure for the header text also. So as per the com company requirement, company requirement cash payment allow only less than 20,000 for less than 20,000 for the company code is triple two. This is the client requirement. OK, if uh, uh, we post the 20,000 above the system system pop up the system will be pop up the error message. So get the user actually if we post the 20,000 above system automatically uh, show to the error message that is the client. So we will configure that. Okay. So I'm going to the my SAP screen. So in validation, in validation, so as per company cut, we have been to the less than less than twenty thousand rupees. We have to do the conversion. So what we need to cash GL, we have to we, we have to need to cash GL and uh, company code also. And these are uh, BKFP, BUKRS. These are technical names. Actually, we need we need to actually in this for this configuration. I will show you how to get uh, these technical names also. And the cash GL is also a general cash GL. Actually, I created. Actually, I'll show you how can I create it. I'm going to the FS double zero. Yeah. 
This is a cash deal, cash in hand. You can see here, it's a general, uh, it's normal cash deal only. I take in an account group is the current assets. It's the balance under the balance data account and the short keys are cash in hand. In control data, INR, I'll take it. And in the posting key is also double zero one. I just take it. In the in the credit and banking also, we will take uh, normal uh, general general. Okay, we can take the general automatically post. Save it just it. So technical names, right? Uh, how can you get technical names? Means I'll show you that. So in technical names, uh, here you can, if you if you can give a uh, post document data data or a uh, P50, we'll, we can come here and go to the company code tab and uh, press the F1 button. If you press the F1 button, you come to the one tab actually. Yeah, just a second. Yeah, it will come to the one tab. And uh, if you can see here uh, in the top of the button technical information, just click at that button and see here screen field BKBF is called a uh, technical name actually. Just copy it and uh, paste somewhere. So I just uh, I just uh, take the comp for the company code technical name under casual for the technical name and uh, the amount also. I'll take the technical name. So we will configuration in uh, configure in GPB zero. So we'll go to the GPB zero. In GPB zero, we have pay request uh, one tab. Uh, and up, we will configure that here. Same as like we will give, we have to give the company code and the GL also got GL. And uh, check, uh, check request, check request, and the check request also in tab is there. We have to enter the amount value like uh, here. So we will configure that GBP0. After that, we will go to the uh, active data validation key. So we will go to the GBP0. Yes, go to the financial accounting. See here document header and line item. We will doing the line item for OK in the valuation section part. OK, select the line item and go to the tab validation tab. And give here the name actually. So VV, I will give you a VV 22. the name also cash payment for v22 sorry vv22 And so, so created a V22 validation part. So select that and go to the steps. Select the steps. So here also give the name for that. Hash payment steps. So V22. So we can, you can see here pre request and the check boxes. We will go in. We will go into the do the configuration here part. So come to the down. Come to the down here. Pre request. Tab it here. Yeah. If you can see here, according document header and document segments and fields are there. We will go to the document header. First of all. 
in because because of uh, we we need to find out the company code we have to give the company code first of all these are technical names so if you want find them in you can select the find and uh, just type the company code yeah this is a company code select it yes we can follow that too. see here I just uh, example right write down right company code and is equal to give the company code and g and and uh, take the and and gl and is equal to give the your gl account same as like that is equal to is equal to come to the constant okay is the constant and give your company code and next step is and okay and and gl you have to take the gl gls are actually they are in account document segment type okay go to the find just type the gl yeah take it and is equal to constant take the constant and give you the cash gl double one three yeah it's fine and go to the check check box in check box you have to uh, amount right amount we have to go to that account document segment go to the find just type the amount yeah prepare the amount and will come okay one thing i will just copy here because of there is a plenty of amount types are there so i'll take the amount if you don't need this you can delete here company code so then Please take Please take W or PTR. BTR B seg yeah B seg and B seg W R B T R right yeah yeah amount have to take care and uh, less than we have to we are less than constant how much amount we have to give the 20000 i'll give the 20000 yes and go to the message so this part is a uh, very important actually it is the pop up message error possible pop up message we have to write down so take the right. message go to the next free number 
speaking to okay. double click on it just so you can write it so cash about twenty thousand not hello okay save it come back so you have to give the one number here that number okay one second get it So just save it. And uh, we have to, I'll take the uh, other screen. Yeah, we have to activate it actually in validation class. In OB 28, we have to activate that. Take the new entries. Give your company code and uh, call point, call point. Yeah, we are, we are doing the line item for it. So select the line item. Validation. Uh, yeah, V double V twenty two. This is a validation part. So here we have to activate it. Activate level is I think one. Yeah, activate. So just save it. So already same piece. Uh, okay. Okay, I already done. I actually, I give it uh, already. So, okay, don't worry. So, FB, I'll go to the poster one more. FB 50. Okay, administrator account. I will take the administrator account. Debit. I will take in a fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Take a credit and I'll give the cash GL 200 double one double one three. This is my cash GL. And one second, I'll give the as it will call it will ask actually. Yeah. <coughs> See, um, business area is a time requirement. One second.
see cash above 20,000 not allowed. Okay, this is a pop up message. So, this is an error message actually. It will show because of I will take the 50,000 rupees, right? So, if I change it amount, if I take the 50,000, 15,000. So I'm going to simulate it. See, it will post it. So this is the validation. I said this is the validation part. So 20,000 above, we can't uh, pay the, we can't post the entry in uh, cash here also. So this is the invalidation part. This is a like client requirement actually. We'll do in that in this side. So we will go into the substitution part right now so substitution part also same like that but uh, if we you know, we will do the in a header department in substitution so if we give them blank uh, in a substitution part i mean in a v document uh, we're posting the document we will uh, uh, see the requirement as per the company requirement if document header text is blank it's out of it it's out of fill by being company document post for the company code so if, if the header text is a blank, it's automatically filled by it automatically filled by the it automatically fill the background come. It will come to the, this message actually being document posted. So that's a, that is the business requirement. So we have to do that. So we have to configure, configure that in GB in GZB1. So we will go to that. In GGB1, same also in financial accounting. So in document header, so we will do the document header for the uh, substitution. So give you the name actually. V in double one. New substitution. Substitution. Okay, and select it and go to the steps. So you can see here in BKPF and BKTXT document header text. So just to click here, select it and uh, okay. So we'll we'll take the constant value. Constant value means it's a full of uh, document. So select it and write also substitution the double one. So go to the pre request in pre request. So we have to do the So we have to enter the combination of company code and uh, header text. So, so we have to give the header text blank, the, in the company code, and, and we will take the and, and uh, give the company code. Okay, and we will put the header text. So this is our, our current document our company header text. Go to the fine. Yeah, document header text and uh, come to the and take the equal to constant and go to that. Give it the blank actually. And take the end and give the company code. Take the company code 
and equal to take the constant and give the company code okay and go to the substitutions part so this is the message value so i just copy to paste here Being for little document post. Just save it. And we have to go to the activate it also in both BBH. BBH. Yes, take the new entry. Company code. Plant, call plant. Document header, we'll do in the conversion header further. And substitutions. V double one. I take the V double one. Activate level. So activate it and save it. Okay. We post the one posting. I use my document right. Okay. So I leave the header text also blank. So I didn't write. The posting key is a 40. I take it. Take the this another DL. Something like that. I'll take the amount 5000. This place, business area. First thing that we will ask actually. Yeah, posting case. I'm taking the cash here. Okay. Okay, and what is simulated? See here, document uh, document header text. It's uh, automatically background to running. The message will actually come being document uh, triple two is the company code being document triple two posted. So this is a substitution actually. So if you leave the blank, it automatically the message will automatically fill up. That is a substitution. Yeah. Thank you guys. This this is on my side. Hope you understood. Thank you. Thank you for giving the opportunity.